Okay, so yeah, we're finishing off our tutorial that we started yesterday. And if you guys have any questions or comments, throw them up in the chat. If you need to yell at me to slow down, uh, go for it. Um, but we're just gonna kind of carry on from where we were yesterday. So yesterday, or in the last video, if you're joining me online, um, you can uh, you can see we've been only using two colors for the majority of what we've been doing. We used orange, and we've used blue. And just to recap, the reason that we use those two colors is because they're opposites. So even when I made this black, I didn't use black paint. I mixed orange and blue together to make this kind of really dark color. And the reason I'm doing that is because they're opposite colors, right? They, when they mix those two together, they get a really dark, sometimes a brown, sometimes black, depending on how much of either uh, paint that you, that you use. Um, and you can also get a lot of grays when you add some nice, uh, some color, or sorry, some water. Um, so that's, that's kind of, that's what we're doing. You guys picked a good one for that because there is only like two colors in here, right? Now we're gonna have some fun today because we're getting into this watery bits. And this is gonna get a little bit interesting, I think. Um, but I think that it will still turn out pretty well. And so here we go. Um, we're gonna start with uh, kind of the base layer again, just like we did with the sky. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna get a nice light wash over this, this spot. And so this is gonna end up turning into kind of like this area here. Or kind of like more and more around here. Um, so that's, that's what we're gonna be working on. All right, so here we go. So again, a good idea to, to start with is I'm just gonna get a, um, a nice wet wash over top of everything and I'm just gonna bleed all this stuff together. How's my, my positioning? Maybe I should move this up a little bit. Is that better? see what I'm doing. Now, you'll notice that if you actually get your paint wet again, it'll start to kind of recharge. It'll be, it'll become painty and wetty again. Um, so that's that's one thing you got to look out for. If we were to get this whole thing wet, your colors would start kind of mixing together. So we don't want to do that. We're just doing this on this base, uh, this base area here. Actually, I'm going to erase this, my horizon line that I put in there the other day. Just going to get rid of that. Okay, so now that we've got that wet, I'm going to get some paint and I'm going to mix um, a little bit of blue and I'm going to mix some white in it too because we do have a lighter, um, a lighter color in there. So mixing blue, just getting it nice and juicy here. And let me know guys if I'm going too, too fast, okay? If you need me to slow down. And I'm just getting it in this, this well here. I'll throw a little bit of white in there as well just to get it kind of that bright blue. Our blue out of the can is really, really dark. And so we want a, a bit of a lighter, lighter styles here. And we also want to add quite a bit of water to it. And the reason that is, is because we do want it pretty light. All right, so I've got it kind of this sort of almost baby blue. Lots of water in there. Just gonna make sure that my water is still wet here. Maybe I'll throw a little bit more in just for kicks. Now you'll notice that as we are looking at our reference, it's it gets lighter the closer it gets to the horizon. Remember the horizon line is always kind of it's the lightest part, right? It's the part that's furthest away. Um, so we want to make sure that is nice and white. So we don't want any 
any color there. So I'm just gonna start putting some stuff on and see what happens. So you'll notice that it's kind of bleeding kind of nicely. That's okay. Right? Again, we're, we're painting, um, not taking a picture. So when you have this nice and wet, it kind of kind of soaks into the to the rest of the stuff here. Now the stuff on the right is not as important as the stuff on the right because, or sorry, on the, as the stuff is the, sorry, the stuff on the left is isn't as important to get, or is more important to get perfect than the stuff on the right because over here we're gonna um, we're gonna play around with this a little bit more. Right, we're gonna cover it in black and stuff. So, and as we get closer up to this horizon, I wanna kinda cool it down a little bit. I wanna not let it go all the way to the top. <clears throat> but this is all nice and dark in here. And again, this is just our base layer. This is technically a sketch as well. You're not, uh, if you want it to be perfect, you, you would spend hours and hours and hours on it. Right? We're just we're just making it go quick. So now, if you look at our reference, there's kind of like the, where the reflection is. It doesn't. There's nothing there. There's like a line going right through like that. See that? So we want to make sure that we have um, have color here, but not on the other side of it. And we'll get we'll get all those kind of little detail bits on there as well. Okay, this is looking good. Looking good, guys. Should have a nice wash. Okay. I've got a question for you guys. How are we gonna do these little ripples? See how it's white in there? How are we gonna do those white ripples? Does anybody have any ideas? I'll zoom in for you. That part right there, all those white ripples, how are we gonna do that? Remember when we have something um, dark on there, we can't go back but we can edit it while it's wet. So I haven't shown this to you guys yet. Um, this is a new technique that is gonna be kind of fun for you, I think. Um, there's something called the liftoff method. It's kind of like, makes me think of spaceships, you know, lifting off. But if you take a um, paper towel or something, if you guys have paper towel or a rag or something to soak stuff up with, um, you can use that and you can kind of push down on it and kind of get this, this kind of effect like this, right? So it's, what I'm doing is I'm taking some of this, this paint out. And I took a little bit too much off. So I need to put a little bit back on. I think I'm getting a little dry here too. So if you need some of these ripples, or if you want some of those ripples, just try soaking it out with a paper towel or a cloth or something. Paper towel works pretty well, pretty nicely. How's it going? You guys doing okay? Am I going too fast? Okay, I'm getting thumbs up, it's good. Okay.
I'm just filling in my sky a little bit. I'm noticing that there's a bit of a hole, so I'm gonna just kind of edit that while I wait for you guys. Those of you guys who are on camera, quickly show me what you're what you're up to. Show me what you're working on. Looking good, Zoe. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good, guys. Nice. Okay. I'm going to keep moving on because it looks like some of you guys are, are getting close. So I'm going to start mixing um, kind of my magic mixture again here, right? So I want my blue. And I want orange. So I'm just going to, because I kind of ran out of paint, I'm just going to... I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix quite a bit of it. We've got a lot of dark um, values in this water, but we also have kind of these really cool kind of aquamarine blue bits poking out, right? So I'm gonna use um, kind of ver ver varieties of, of different shades of blue, but adding different um, amounts, different percentages. Oh no, something flecked onto my page. That's not good. You guys see that just suddenly appear? It's like, appeared. Just let this out. My mixing was too vigorous. All right, so what I'm doing is I've got kind of these two puddles. This one is just pure blue, just straight up blue, nothing else. I'm mixing another another little puddle of blue here, and I'm gonna add some orange to it. So you can kind of think of this as like it's like your little arrows in your quiver, right? So if you have um, a bunch of a bunch of colors ready to go like this, then you can just easily swip, switch between the two, right? You don't have to keep mixing over and over again. So I'm just adding a bit of orange and it's gonna darken it right up, but it's still gonna be mostly blue. You can kind of see, it's kind of probably hard to see on, your, on the camera there, but it does have still a blue tinge to it. And I'm gonna take some of this, I'm actually gonna put it in another another thing here. I just kind of scooped it up and I'm gonna make this one nice and wet. So I have, these two are full strength, hardly any water added. This one is, is pretty, uh, pretty wet. And I'm gonna use that one as my kind of layering one, right? So I have, again, full strength, full strength, but this one has orange in it. And this one is this one, but just with more water into it, okay? So you can kind of like separate and smear your, your colors around to kind of make different uh, percentages of each, uh, each color. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start laying in where that dark part, those dark parts are. All right, so this might even be too, too dark. But I think it'll work. I want to kind of like take a look at where some of these dark areas are and and or the, sorry the light areas and leave those areas light. Okay. So you're kind of painting the darkness. And if your your if your uh, your lake here your ocean here is still wet, it might still kind of seep in. That's good. It's okay. Okay. 
Ben, you're mixing um, blue and orange. It's mostly blue, right? Just a bit of orange. Sorry, I missed that one before. Feel free, guys, if I if I uh, forget to answer something, just like hop on the mic and just yell at me. Don't yell, but like kindly ask me to check the chat. I'm not actually making this look exact, but I am kind of, I'm, I'm leaving these kind of holes, right? I should probably get this a little closer so I can actually see what I'm doing here. That's not gonna work. All right, so this is, the, this is the hard part here. What we need to do is when we get to this edge, so we're gonna draw tiny little lines here, right? You can use the side of your brush or you flip over to a small one. Maybe that's a good, better idea for me. Flip over to a small brush. I like the flats. I'm gonna keep using a flat, but if you wanna use your, your round brush, so even like this little guy here, uh, feel free, up to you, okay? Switch over to my small brush. It's gonna get little bits of lines kind of going horizontally in this area. So the smaller they are, the better. And they're gonna get bigger as you get closer to the camera, right? So I'm using, I'm doing horizontal lines. Horizontal lines through this, this whole section. Okay, and I'm still using that same blue-orange mixture. getting bigger as I get closer okay and there might be some more whoops some more darkness as well possibly try to keep it the same but it, it will get naturally more dark as you get closer so you now at this point we're almost seeing like individual waves and things but we're not drawing waves you know like uh we're not drawing like like uh like waves, right? We're not doing this. That's not what it looks like. We're not drawing stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where I see it. We're not drawing like the, you know, the classic cartoon waves. That's something we're not doing. Um, instead, we are um, really looking at what it actually looks like and trying to imitate that. Imitate. Not necessarily capture perfectly, but imitate it. Again, let paint be paint. Now I'm noticing, I'm gonna do something new here. I'm, I'm just adding just straight blue and I'm adding more water to it. 
So I'm going to have more of an intense blue, but it's, it's going to be watered down. I'm noticing, like over here, it's quite dark, but there are some shadows and highlights and things on this side that's very blue. And I'm sure you guys see that as well. So there's a difference in, in hue and value between this little shadow here and this part here, right? There's a difference between that and that. So make sure you're keep, keeping note of that, right? This is dark, this isn't as dark, right? This is like a, a nine on our little, little charts things that I gave you guys out. Um, this is like a six or so, right? There is a big difference. So I might even add a little bit of orange to this, just, just a drop of orange. Still want to keep it mostly blue. But just to kind of give it a bit of a less of an edge. Even a little bit of white too. Close look at what I'm painting here and just try adding some of these waves in. I need to be more watery, I think. Water the sucker down. I think that's a little bit too vibrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and soak some of this paint out. And I'm just using a dry brush. It's just a dry brush. I'm just going to, just going to slurp some of this up. You can also use paper towel. But I find that a dry brush is a little bit more accurate. Right? Get right in there. I just wiped it off with a paper towel. Wipe my brush off the paper towel. See how it's just soaking all that stuff in? Works really well. Just to kind of soak this stuff out. I don't want it so, so dark. Because we now suddenly have paint in here, we can actually use that to kind of paint more areas if you want. How am I doing, guys? Am I doing okay? Am I going too fast, too slow? That's better. That's the color I was looking for. Nice and watery. Nice. All right, I'm going to get a little bit more dark. So I'm going to grab some of my dark paint here again. I'm going to go over. Um, I'm going to go over this area again because this is still too light but again we want to work in layers right layer upon layer upon layer so over here and stuff we can start thinking about we just head butter the camera here <laughs> this kind of area 
right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more black to this part, but it's not black, it's just a dark blue, right? Dark gray blue. It'll start melding together as well. And you can even draw or paint um, kind of waves in this area here too, right? You can have varying um, values, especially kind of in this mid area, because you can have like your light stuff, your kind of medium stuff, and then your dark over here. And if you run out of paint, you just gotta make more. I like making a whole bunch and then just kind of reusing from my supply uh, that I make, right? So I made this, this kind of black a while ago and I'm just kind of scooping it back in. Actually at this point, I could probably just add more water to it. So I've used it a few times. I'm just adding water to it to kind of water it down. And that's kind of my, that's my strategy for mixing. I mix a whole bunch at once. You're done your picture already there, bud. Let's take a look. Can you throw it up on there, Josiah? Okay. Just show me on the camera. Hey, look at that. That's looking pretty good, man. I think you can get, that's actually looking really good. Way to go. I like your, actually, can you tilt it more toward, more down? That's, there you go, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Um, try darkening up some of your water though. That water needs to be a little darker. So I'm going in layers, right? So put another layer of kind of like, not black, but kind of a, your dark blue, your orange blue mixture. Um, try adding another layer of that on there so that it's, uh, it's a little darker. So I'm, I'm still just kind of painting waves, right? I'm adding these, these, even these dark areas, I'm just kind of painting across horizontal lines. That's giving the, uh, the illusion of like, of ripples, right? Let's get some real dark stuff in here, right under this cave, let me get some black. And you'll notice that your your sketchbook will probably start like warping and stuff. That's okay. It's just the paper. Just gotta deal with it. Let's take a look. That's actually turning out not bad. Not bad, guys. Not bad.
So it's interesting because at least in my other classes, this people were really kind of freaked out of this 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 drawing or this painting, this photograph. They didn't want to do it because like they saw all this, right? And this is a lot of work. But all it is, I'm just I'm not even necessarily looking super closely at what I'm doing. It's just a bunch of horizontal lines, right? And leaving room for other areas to kind of shine through. That's all I'm doing. Kind of these long areas. What's that? It's looking better. Yeah, it's looking better, man. How do you feel about it? Good. That's good. You know what would be great? You guys should, uh, once you're done this painting, you should put it up on the fridge. When was the last time you guys had a, a drawing or a painting hung up on the fridge? Last year, um, when we were doing, uh, I was doing watercolors with my, I think it was grade tens. Um, we did, uh, it was Valentine's. And so we made a Valentine cards for like our moms or whatever, right? And I made one for my wife and uh, uh, the Mandalorian had just come out, right? So I made one that said, baby, comma, Yoda one for me. So it says baby Yoda, the one, Yoda one for me. It's funny. It's very funny. It's so good, man. It's so good. You don't even know what you're talking about. And then I painted, you know, baby Yoda. You should find that. It's still on the fridge. My, my wife liked it so much. It's still on the fridge. Let's take a look here. I'm just gonna take a peek. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna try and make this really intense blue. That kind of aquamarine blue. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I'm gonna experiment a little bit, I think. Make a new puddle. Definitely need some blue. Um, my, my hunch is that I'm gonna need a little bit of green in there. That's my hunch. Probably some white as well. So I'm adding, put some white in there first before I ruin it with some green. So what I'm doing when I'm adding blue to my white, or white to my blue, you guys can see that, I should probably move this over here. Make it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Just adding white to this, this kind of intense blue color here, and just hoping I can get something that kind of looks like that. I'm, I'm washing my brush every time I touch my white and I'm still noticing that I'm getting quite a bit of quite a bit of white there. 
or kind of muddying my white. It's getting closer. So I don't want to ruin this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this. I'm going to plop it in this other hole here. Mix my brush, or wash my brush. And I'm going to grab some of this kind of lighter green, just a little bit. And I'm just going to see what happens when I when I add it. So now this is a new color we haven't added yet, right? So it might kind of throw off our, our color harmony, but sometimes that's okay. Just to see if I can get this kind of looking sort of tropical. You guys, sometimes it's also a good idea to use like a piece of scrap paper or something to test out what your thing looks like. So I can even do it like over in the corner here or something. I can move this down. So I'm just gonna paint kinda in this corner here just to see what it looks like. It's actually not half bad. It's a little bit too green, I think. So maybe I'll add a little bit more blue. So it's, it's, okay. it's a good idea to, to test your, your colors before you put them, you commit, right? Add some more blue to it because I think it just needs a little bit more blue. Hmm, it's not bad. That's looking pretty good now. No, it's not bad. Let's, get, let's give it a go here. I'm going to get it nice and wet again. And again, I'm trying to get this, this really tropical color in here, right? That kind of aqua marine blue that's what I'm going for I don't know if it's gonna work or not I might just blow the whole painting here and that's that's art but we'll give it a go again I'm doing a whole bunch of just back and forth right now my mixture is mostly blue. It's got a bit of white in there. It's got a bit of green, a little, little bit of green. And I kind of like the way some of these little white spots poke out, right? And the more the more you use your brush without recharging it, without kind of getting more paint on it, um, the paler it's going to become. Right? Nice. That's looking good. Awesome. Awesome, guys. That's good. So here and there, it's okay to leave little little white zones, you know, because you'll have in waves like this, you'll have little little flecks, right, of of color and light. Remember, these waves are supposed to get bigger the closer you get to the camera. So you might want to start using like the side of your brush, right? as you get closer and closer. Right now I'm kind of using still a skinny, skinny part. That's looking pretty good. 
Uh, I think there's still a little bit too much light here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in with my, my dark colors here and I'm just gonna sort of start filling in some of the gaps here that I don't want. Now remember it's not, I didn't use pure black anywhere, right? I used these, these mixtures. Even though this looks really dark, <laughs> I still, I'm, I'm, I'm restraining myself from making things black. I'm gonna need to make some more black. My black, right, the black. Blue, orange, black. Now these colors, right, this orange and this blue mix, I do this for like 95% of my paintings. The reason that I like it so much is because you have a cool color, your blue, you've got a warm color, your orange, and I, I use a kind of a dark orange when I paint at home with my, my own paints and stuff. And that gives us a really rich color. And then you, when you add white to that, or in our case, water, um, and sometimes we use a little bit of white, you get a really nice dynamic range of, of different colors. Now you can't do your greens and your, your purples and stuff with that. Um, but you can, you can do most other colors with that. So it's really nice. Lots of grays and stuff too. Some, some orange. Ooh, get that little muddy there. All right, it's nice and goopy again. I'm just gonna add more dark parts. Here and there, just kind of getting this nice and dark to where it needs to be dark. So you're always looking, always looking at what you're painting. That's half the battle is actually looking, being observant. When you're observant, you're, you're not just, the whole point guys is to paint what you see, right? Not what you know is there, you know, Water kind of looks like this, right? But you want to actually look and see at what what point does this little thing go? That doesn't mean it has to be exact, but it does mean it has to be accurate. You can have a little bit of a stylistic flair, right? I'm not making it perfect, but I am making it look like water. And I am trying to kind of copy sort of what we see. Cheapers, guys, it is almost the end of class. Holy smokes. That is crazy. So I'm gonna wrap up in like two minutes here. All right, dudes, that is basically the end of our, our time together. We got like five minutes of class left. I should let you have some time to, uh, to get ready for your last class of the day of the week. Um, how did it go? Good, good. Um, make sure you snap a photo of what you've got here. Throw it up on Seesaw. I want to see it. I'd love to see it. Okay. Um, yeah, make sure you're, you're posting on Seesaw what you've, what you've done today. Um, and that kind of concludes our, um, our tutorial for our landscape, waterscape here. So we had two parts and there we go.